What is going on everyone? Welcome to my tutorial series on open search. This video is about how to query records from an open search index in Python. In this tutorial, I'll be covering how to connect to an open search cluster, how to perform queries from an index with a domain specific language query, and also how to read from an index using SQL, which most data engineers are comfortable with. So to take a look at the data we're going to be querying. So in Python, we're going to be querying our cars index. So we have four documents within our car index. You can see we have four cars and two that belong to Toyota and two, one that belongs to Nissan and one that belongs to Honda. So we're going to be leveraging AWS data wrangler library in Python to connect and read our data. So we're just going to go ahead and import the AWS data wrangler library. So before we can actually read our data, we need to connect to our open search cluster. So we're going to create a connection variable that our queries are going to later use in order to query our data. So I'm going to call it os.connection. And now we're going to call the AWS data wrangler library. So WR and it's going to be open search. And we're going to use the connect API to do this. All right, so there are four parameters that we need to pass in order to connect if we're not passing an IAM credential. So the first is gonna be the host, it's gonna be the URL string to our open search cluster. So it should start with HTTPS. Second, it's gonna be the port. And because I haven't configured my open search cluster to authenticate based on IAM rows and instead authenticating based on username and password, I need to pass a username and password to connect to my cluster. If you have instead configured access of this open search cluster to your IAM role, then you will not have to pass a username and password like I did here. Most people know this, this is not a good practice to leave your password in an open string in your notebook or Python script. A more secure method would be using, let's say, AWS Secret Manager to keep this password secure. All right, so let's just give that a run. Great, so now that we have our open search connection, we can move on to actually read data from the cars index that I showed you earlier. We're gonna be using the search API and the output is gonna be a data frame. So I'm just gonna call my variable df, which stands for data frame, and that's gonna be equal to wr.openSearch, and it's gonna be search. All right, so the first parameter we need to pass is gonna be the client, which is gonna be equal to our open search connection variable that we created above. Next, it's gonna be the index, which we want to read our data from. So it's gonna be called cars, make sure you're passing a string. And next we're gonna patch the search body. And the search body is gonna be the domain specific language query that we want to use. This allows us to perform full text queries on our data. All right, so let me walk you through what we've done here. So I pass in the key query and we're performing a match, which means that we're looking for the key car underscore make to have the value that is exactly spelt Toyota. Let's just give this a run to make sure this works first. And because it's a data frame, I could print the results and let's give that a run. So what we've seen here is that we have returned all the records from our cars index where the car make is equal to Toyota. As I mentioned, it is slightly flexible. So if I had lowercase, gave that a run, it's still gonna be returned. However, if I, let's say, add an A at the end, give this a run, I'm gonna get an error. So match is used to find the specific phrase with the exact spelling. Now, there are different types of full text query options that are available. So check out the documentation on full text queries for more information on what types of queries you can perform. Great, so we performed a match on our car may column, but what if we wanted to filter records on multiple keys? All right, so in order to do this, we can use the exact same API call, so the search API from AWS Data Wrangler. However, our search body is gonna be slightly different here. So what I've done is passed in the bool. So this allows us to do compound queries. So for example, here I'm saying our first query must match car make equal to Toyota, same as the first query that I performed above. However, it should also match that the car model is equal to Corolla. So again, I'm just gonna add uh, dataframe.head to print our first five record results. And we're gonna make sure that we've added all the appropriate brackets that we need here. We forgot one. All right. Now, if we give that a run, you can see that we've now filtered our data further. So instead of getting two records being returned by one column, we've actually filtered it on two columns and have got only one record being returned. Great, let's move on to how to query data from OpenSearch using SQL. So one really cool thing about using AWS Data Wrangler to read our data from OpenSearch is you don't have to be a domain specific language query expert in order to perform our queries. And we can actually query our data through SQL, which most data engineers are comfortable with. 
Okay, so we're going to create a new data frame called df2 and we're going to pass in wr for aws data wrangler and open search dot now this time we're using search by sql and again our next parameter is going to be client and we're going to make that equal to our os underscore connection which we created above so we can connect to our open search cluster and next we're going to pass in our sql query so unlike the previous two queries that I used before where we had to pass in the index and search body, all we have to do now is pass in SQL query. And now we just pass in our SQL query to retrieve our data. So what I'm gonna pass in is the same query that I performed above, however, through SQL. So we're selecting all from our cars index where the car make is Toyota and the car model is Corolla. So let me just now add DF Two dot head so we can see our results in our Jupyter notebook and let me just give that a run and there you go we got our one record being returned same ID is also being returned as well so we know it's the same record however this API call added a couple of new columns to our output so we now also see the index name that it's coming from as well as this score so we know that this is a hundred percent match and that's it we've successfully connected to our open search cluster queried our data through using the domain specific language query as well as through a sql query and we've successfully queried our records and returned it into a pandas data frame where now we can go off and do a bunch of different analytics on our data as we see fit Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and please consider subscribing to my channel if you're interested in working with data on AWS. Thanks so much and see you next time.